everybody, I'm Alex and welcome back to my channel, Alex and His Bags. Today I'm here with a new video which is a Chanel unboxing. And no, this bag is not for me. But I did help one of my bag friends, I will put her Instagram right over there, to score a very uh, hard to get piece from Chanel. Um, I don't think it's very exclusive or whatever, but I don't think they did as many pieces and it was very, very popular. So I'm really happy to have been able to score it. It's obviously thanks to my essay in the Faubourg Saint-Honoré boutique uh, because obviously I wasn't there myself but yeah, I'm really happy and before I sent the bag to her which is in Australia, which is very far uh, I wanted to do an unboxing, my first impression and talk to you a bit about the bag compare it with my wallet on chain as well because it's pretty similar but this cutie is a bit less expensive so it came in the black box my real shoe actually came in the white box because it was actually sent from Rue Cambon because during quarantine they were actually sending all items through Rue Cambon but this one was directly sent from Faubourg Saint-Honoré and I know a lot of people go to Faubourg Saint-Honoré for Hermès which I can understand obviously but I really think the Chanel there is really nice so without further ado let me show you what's inside the box and you can see this cutie over there so I will take it off the box it's really cute, it's not on my wish list but I can admit that I found it really cute. So here is the Vanity Wallet on Chain. I don't know if it has a name. I think it's probably Small Vanity with Chain or something because obviously Chanel is the worst with names, but it's basically the small version of the classic Vanity in black caviar leather with gold hardware. And it does have the chain like the Wallet on Chain. So I can tuck it away so it's suitable crossbody i will include some mud shots it's really cute it's really tiny but it does fit a lot i will show you inside you open it like this and you do have a lot of space inside with three card slots so yeah it's pretty practical bag you also have the lipstick uh, pouch i guess I know it was seasonal but I'm pretty sure it will stay because first of all it's very popular, this vanity shape is very popular but also um, it's a classic piece, it looks classic already, uh, I think a lot of people will want it. The only thing is that I think they will increase the price pretty quickly on this one. This one currently retails for 1450 euros which is not bad I think in Chanel because even the walk is uh, 2300 euros now or something so actually it's quite an entry level bag at Chanel and you do have a lot for what you are paying for I think you have the crossbody or on the shoulder option you can also tuck the chain inside and just use it as a clutch if you want like you just can carry it like this it's pretty versatile I think it can be a cute day bag but it's also very cute at night it can be for travel it's really versatile it's a very versatile piece it's very carefree due to the leather it's leather all the way around so basically you don't have to to care about anything the hardware is not that big you only have the cc over there and on the chain and on the zipper so as well not so much tarnishing so yeah i think it's a pretty um, clever piece to get i personally don't have it on my wishes because i already have my wallet and chain and I try to limit myself, but it's really cute. Also, the chain will not go crossbody for everybody. It does fit crossbody on me. It's a bit high in my opinion, so that's why it wouldn't fit my lifestyle, but I know a lot of people like to wear it high. So comparing to the walk, you can see that the vanity is a bit smaller, but when you compare it, it's really larger. It's not longer. You can see there is a small difference. But in capacity, I'm pretty sure you can fit more in this one. This one does have a zip pocket and six card slots plus the slide pockets. This one only has three card slots and a lipstick pocket. And I will show you actually what kind of SLGs you could fit inside. So something I realized when I actually played with the bag, obviously I'm not using it since it's not mine. But I realized that if you want to put some things inside and don't want to actually always push the flap over there, you actually have to put the chain like outside completely and if you just put it like this the weight of the chain will actually help you keep the vanity open so that I can actually put things inside without any problem. So now I can show you what fits inside. I have my zip coin purse from Chanel and I'm pretty sure it fits. 
yeah, it really fits nicely. You have still a lot and a lot of space. I do have my pochette clay from Louis Vuitton in the Mega Fit. It does fit as well without any problem. I'm curious to see if the passport holder actually fits and it doesn't. It, it sticks a bit too high so you wouldn't be able to close it and I don't think you can... Yeah, you could probably put it like this but I would not recommend it because basically it will be uh, taking like a lot of space. Of course my Bastia coin purse can fit without any problem but as you can see it's really like on the verge of the zipper so I, I would suggest to put another uh, SRG inside because it's really like the limit. And I wanted to try if my mini pochette actually fits, I'm not sure, I think it's a bit too big but let's see. Yeah, it doesn't. You would have to fold the mini pochette. It could almost fit without the um, lipstick uh, pouch, but still, I am um, no. So you can still fit your essentials, and I still have space for tissue, lipstick, lip balm, uh, other things like a key fob or whatever. The interior is in fabric, so you're not so worried about scratches. So yeah, so that's it for this video about this cutie. I'm pretty sure it's sold out everywhere right now. I don't think they have produced more because as you can, as you might know, the site of production in France were closed during quarantine or actually were not closed, but very limited. So I don't, I think for this season it's done, but I'm pretty sure it will come back. So I don't advise you to pay the premium prices because I know these ones sell for a lot more than retail on the second hand market because it was so limited. I'm pretty sure it will come back, I'm pretty sure it will come back in silver hardware, maybe in lambskin, I don't know if you are more into lambskin, but for sure it will come back in silver hardware and for sure it will come back in more colors. I don't see why Chanel wouldn't do it, so yeah, but I'm pretty sure it will come back at a more higher price, like more close to the walk because they know they couldn't put it at the walk price because it was not popular yet, but now that it is actually popular, I'm pretty sure it will increase in price. So yeah, that's it for this video about this cutie. If you have any questions, please let me know. I would advise you also to contact my friend on Instagram because when you will see this video, she might have received it. She might have received the bag or maybe not yet, but she will actually be the owner of the bag. So she will be using it. So maybe it's better to ask her directly your questions because obviously I will not use the bag. From what I've seen, it looks pretty practical. It's a bit bulky because it's large. But since it's also very small and like you can wear it crossbody, it's not like overpowering in my opinion. So it's such a cute piece and I'm really happy I was able to score it for her. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can follow me on Instagram at Alex and his bags and I will see you very soon in a new video. Bye bye.